in Pilanisburg in the northwest where an interdepartmental inspection of hospitality establishments is underway. The departments of labor, economic development, home affairs and the police are working together to check for compliance. Recent inspections in other parts of the country have highlighted transgressions at some establishments. SABC News reporter Tabiso Moss is on the ground on the story following that for us. A very good afternoon to you, uh, Tabiso. Um, thank you very much for joining us. So do elaborate on uh, what I've just been saying. As you've just alluded, we are at Pilanesbeck here in the Northwest Province, just outside one of the establishments, as you have said in your introduction, that uh, the multi-stakeholder inspections are ongoing as we speak uh, in this Moses Kotani local municipality, as we are outside uh, Pilanesbeck in one of the game reserves here. But uh, what I can tell you is that these inspections or blaze inspections started on Monday. So this is the fifth day of these inspections, but uh, in a moment I'll bring you on to this conversation one of the officials from the department of home affairs which is one of the stakeholders taking part in these inspections here in uh, the northwest province specifically in moses kotan local municipality uh, what i can tell you is that there are some illegal immigrants that were arrested and he elaborate more on that uh, as one of the things that has happened over the past few uh, days on these inspections as there are contraventions of several uh, regulations including your immigration act the liquor act and other acts but let me uh, talk to Nkensan Ndlofu. He is from the Department of Home Affairs here in the Northwest Province to talk to us more about these inspections. Thank you so much uh, for joining us this afternoon, Dr. Ndlofu, on SABC News. Just talk to us about what informed these uh, inspections. No, thanks very much, uh, Tepo. Uh, we are here as Home Affairs just to ensure that we are inspecting all the business, the hospitality. So we have seen that we are having an alarming number of foreign nationals who are actually working in South Africa who are undocumented, who are actually contravening the Immigration, Immigration Act, Section 38. And how many were arrested? The last report that we got, three were arrested, illegal immigrants. No, since from Monday up until yesterday, we arrested about eight. As we speak, we have documented them, even magistrates has confirmed for their deportation. Now they have been uh, taken to Lindela yesterday, uh, they will be deported to, to their countries. Eight have been ar ar arrested and with uh, five employers has been charged where uh, they have paid the sum of 25,000. Are these all, this all illegal immigrants? Em employees in some of these estab establishments? Yeah, all, all of them that we have arrested are illegal immigrants who actually do not have uh, any documents. Some of them, they have passport, but they, they are not going home. They are just relaxed. So it's just foreign nationals that we arrested yesterday. Talk to us more about the employers or owners of these establishments that you have taken action against them or that have been also taking action against them following what you believe is contraventions? No, thanks very much. Uh, we, we have taken action with uh, the, employers, the employers of those who have visited and some of them, they have paid a fine. Yes, they have paid a fine. Then we will still visit those areas again just to check compliance if they are complying because of we have built a strong relationship with our stakeholders. How many businesses or establishments have been inspected thus far since Monday? Uh, about 30. We have done about 30, but today we'll be only doing five. Yes. So today you do, will be doing five, and this is one of the establishments? Yes, this is one of the, the, the establishments that we are busy with now. And let us in on the establishments that you went to uh, across. Is it from this municipality only, the Moses Kotani local municipality? Yeah, yes, uh, it was only based on Moses Kotani, where we started at uh, this area around Sun City and going back to Muruleng and coming back. We also targeted the Sun City because of there is a lot of foreigners there. But I could say at least we 90% we, of the employers were complying. It was just few there and there that we need to close this, the, to keep this, uh, this issue of Contravention of Immigration Act. Are you also going to ta target other establishments outside this uh, municipality, Moses Kotan local municipalities? 
Yes, we are, we, are, we are busy because now we are going to festive seasons. Obviously, we are preparing ourselves just as as department to ensure that we kept this uh, this issue of uh, immig uh, 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 immigration contravision of immigration act so we have we have a briefing this morning there are others that are going to join as you know we have tax shops you know you, you have your foreign nationals as well that are uh, 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 selling at tax shops so we'll be expanding to tax shops and other things but as you know we are having illicit mining as well we are having a uh, chanela we are, we, are, we are having a lot of operations so on a daily basis we are working and we are resting and we are finding I, I, we, we are wrapping up our conversation in a moment, but just talk to me about, I know some of these things are outside your scope of work as you are from the Department of Home Affairs, yes. but in terms of uh, contraventions as far as the uh, authorization of those businesses to work in those or operate in those areas, just talk to us more about that. No, I think that it's more, we are more likely to work hand in hand with the Department of Labor because of, from time to time we need to go with them into operations that they will check all, everything, all the aspects in terms of employment, equity and so forth. But if they are not complying as Home Affairs is where we get in to ensure that if there are foreigners that are working there, we also become part with uh, labor. Like for now, there's a um, stakeholder that we, that we have established. It's a law enforcement that we, we are dealing with that 100%. Thank you so much. That in Kensan Ndofu from the Department of Home Affairs here in the Northwest Province, talking to us about this operation or blitz inspections that have been ongoing in the Moses Kotani local municipality areas like here uh, in Pilanispec and other areas like your Muruleng. As today has just alluded to the fact that they are inspecting about five establishments including uh, uh, Sun City as well as this game reserve that we are st uh, stationed outside and as he has said they have now arrested eight people for contravening the illegal uh, uh, or immigration act uh, 13 of 2002.